<laughs> waiting, waiting, waiting for Facebook to connect. I need to put music on and dance in the beginning while I'm waiting. <laughs> as soon as somebody jumps on and sees me say hello Lori all right I must be live thanks guys I always need somebody to pop on or somebody to say hello so that I know that um I am really live Facebook doesn't let us know that well all right how is everybody happy Thursday Thankful Thursday, and I am super thankful to be here with you, and I'm super thankful that all of you are jumping on with me. I really appreciate you, and I don't know if I say that enough, so thank you, thank you, thank you. I shouldn't just wait for Thursdays to say thank you. Um, so how's everybody doing? We're going to do a super quick um, Keto Kitchen here for you. So if we have not met, my name is Terry, and I have been low carb, lazy keto, dirty keto, some sort of, some sort of keto for over three years now. I cannot believe. Thankful to be back in Arizona. Oh yes, Lori, I saw your pictures of your truck broke down in the ice and the snow. I am so glad that you are home. What a difference um, in your weather. <laughs> um, so I come on here a couple times a week and do keto kitchens for you guys. I try to show you how easy keto can be. Um, so many quick and easy recipes. Um, I grab these out of a group that I am part of and I'll tell you that most of the people that are in there are busy moms. They're moms that have kids run in 10 different directions or they're working women, um, whatever, working women with kids. So everybody's busy and everybody really li likes something quick and easy. So tons of recipes in there. Um, and that's where I get most of my stuff from. As a matter of fact, this is how I learned about chaffles and all the amazing things that you can do for them. There are tons and tons of chaffle recipes. You can make these are great as a bread substitute. So you can grab a mini dash, which is this little guy, um, but you don't have to have one of these. They're about $10 off of, Arizona, off of Amazon, Walmart, tons of places that you can get them from. So um, not too big of a deal to grab one. Um, let me see what I'm gonna unplug here. Hang on. Um, and then otherwise, um, you can do this just with a regular waffle iron. Uh, this will make an individual one. And kind of the, the thing that I like about it is it's about the size of a roll or a hamburger bun. So you can use this as a bread substitute you can use this as you can make desserts out of them. You can make um, you can make them desserty. You can make them savory. Um, you can obviously turn it into like a a truffle into a waffle and have it as breakfast. I've seen it. I've seen people eat them as waffles. I've seen people. Oh, and I have made them um, into an egg sandwich. For, uh, for breakfast, but I've also seen them make them into like a cinnamon twist, kind of like a churro uh, sort of um, chaffle. So there's lots of different things that you can do with them. Uh, the bread one is called a Wonder Bread Chaffle. Uh, so you can, if, if you need some chaffle recipes, uh, put recipes down there in the comments. I will get you connected to, we have just a whole like cheat sheet, like almost like an album that is separate um, in the group that's just a whole bunch of chaffle recipes. So let me know. I made one a couple, oh, maybe two weeks ago or so. I did a chocolate and peanut butter one. So if you want to check that out, you can scroll back on my feed and find that. It was a chocolate chaffle and we put peanut butter or you could put buttercream frosting in it or you could just put whipped cream on them. So lots of different things that you could do with this one. This one is going to be either. You can either use this one as a breakfast waffle, or you can use it as a dessert chaffle. All right? So either way, let me say hello to some of you guys who are jumping on. Hi, Lori. Hey, Ed. Uh, hi, Amy. Thank you guys for jumping on. Hi, Monique. How are you? Thank you guys for jumping on. 
Make sure you say hello down there in the comments. That helps um, Facebook send this out to more people. And that is my goal is to share this information with more people. So we are going to make a pumpkin spice chaffle. So you're going to be able to either do this as a breakfast with a, uh, a no sugar added, a sugar free version of a syrup. My favorite is Chalk Zero's. And, um, or, um, we're going to, or you could turn it into kind of almost like a pumpkin pie dessert ish. So I'll show you what I mean. Super, super easy to make. You can, but just do this all in a bowl if you want. I'm going to do it in this magic bullet just because whenever I have an egg, I love the, the magic bullet to do all the work. All right. As you guys are jumping on, say hi. Let me know if you're catching me live. It means there's a little red box right there. Put live down there in the comments if you see that box right now. Um, I always give special thank yous out for people who catch me live. Make sure you share me. Share me out to family, friends. Share me out to any kind of recipe group, a busy mom group, a breakfast group, whatever you are part of or whatever you are in, share me out. Sharing is caring. It makes you beautiful and it just get, helps me reach out to other people. You might be a person who found me because somebody, um, you were in, maybe looking at a keto group and somebody shared me into one of my recipes into there and maybe that's how we met. As a matter of fact, I would love to know if that's how we met. Tell me how we met. As you guys are jumping on, let me know, how did you find me? Did you find me on a keto kitchen? Did you find me in a group? Did you find me on TikTok? Did you find me on YouTube? I have all of those platforms, so uh, you can find me in any of those places. All right, generally speaking, a chaffle is eggs and cheese. This one's not gonna have any cheese in it. <laughs> yes, Ed, I know that you were my paper boy. <laughs> I think you've known me before I was doing keto kitchens. <laughs> I love it. All right, two eggs. Um, if you want to double this, you can, truffles, one great thing about truffles is they, um, they freeze really well. So go ahead and make a bunch of them up and throw them in the freezer. Um, I'm just going to make a small batch of them for right now, but I'm going to use two eggs and I'm going to add a little bit of baking powder. Whoops. I forgot a spoon. Hang on. Just a tiny bit of baking powder because it's going to make this thing puff and you don't want it to puff too much in the um, truffle iron. So I'm only going to use like maybe an eighth. Just a little bit, just so that they're not super flat. I'm going to add some cinnamon. Ooh, let's not do it that way. We'll do it this way. Whatever is kind of your fancy as far as cinnamon is concerned. Now, um, I could add, like that's, this is basically it. I could add um, a little bit of cream cheese, softened cream cheese to this. I could add um, pumpkin spice. So whether you have a pumpkin spice like already pre-made, if you want a keto friendly, homemade pumpkin spice put pumpkin spice recipe down there in the comments i'll get that to you um i generally make all of my own spices i make pretty much all my own like salad dressings um anything like that because then i have complete control over what all is in it i know there's no added sugar to it to kick me out of ketosis and i can make things as spicy or as bland as i want a little heavier on this or that or whatever so if you want any of those recipes put that down there in the comments and I will uh, get connected with you. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this thing that is called keto cream. This one is pumpkin spice. There's tons of different flavors in, um, in this product. This is three different brands of MCT oil, which is one of the healthiest fats that you can put in your body, whether you're keto or not. Um, it is, there are several different MCTs. It's super healthy, healthy for your brain. This helps with satiety. This helps with um, getting your healthy fats in, especially if you struggle with um, getting fats in on a keto diet. Um, this is not. This is going to help your body promote its own ketones. Um, this has also got. Um, 
four different strands of collagen. So we all know hair, skin, and nails for collagen, but every organ in your body uses collagen. Um, I especially notice the difference in my hair, in my nails, but I especially notice the difference in my joints. So um, four different strands of collagen, three different strands of MCT oil to feed my body and feed my brain. Your brain loves MCT. This one is pumpkin spice flavored, so this is gonna be perfect. I'm not gonna need the cream cheese. I'm not gonna need the pumpkin spice. It's good. This is gonna take care of all of it. And let's see, what did I do? Oh, here we go. So this is just a little, a magic bullet. I have a great big Nutra bullet when I do like shakes or drinks like that. I love this one because it's just a little small one. We're gonna zap it in here for a second. Oops, it helps if it's plugged in. I don't have enough plugs. I just love this whenever I'm doing something with eggs. Also, like if I was doing the, the, the cream cheese, this would get the cream cheese all melted in, all, all uh, dissolved into it so I don't have a hunk of it left. All right. Um, that one. Oh my goodness, I am just got too many things plugged in here. All right, super easy. You're gonna let this um, heat up. For this particular chaffle recipe, we do not need to um, oil it. For some chaffles, you're gonna wanna put a little bit of oil on it, either like a spray olive oil, um, avocado oil, or if you wanna just do, even do a little bit of butter, we'll be fine. And I'm sorry, guys, I am, hi, Lisa, how are you? I haven't seen you in forever. Um, one of your favorite keto creams, pumpkin spice, and salad dressing, okay, I will get those to you. Also, a garlic mayo recipe or cilantro if you have one. I'll work on that for you. All right, lots of people want the recipes for the spices. Cool. All right, we are making a... You found me on TikTok, Amy. Okay, we are making a pumpkin spice chaffle. And you can use this as a breakfast waffle or you can use this as a dessert. And I'm going to show you kind of both of them. Not everything got down in there. All right, this is going to be very, very thin. A lot of uh, the other chaffle recipes that you use, like if you use one um, that does have the cheese in it, it's gonna be thicker. This is super, super thin, so I always overflow mine. I just, it, I always do, but we're gonna, I think you guys can see, yes, yes. I'm just gonna put enough in here Still letting the little knobs show. Just filling it, still letting the little knobs kind of show through. Because this has baking powder in it, baking powder, did I say the right one? Yes. Because this has baking powder in it, it's going to puff. All right, so you see how much I have. I still probably have enough to make a good three, maybe even four of these little mini ones or if you were using a regular waffle plate is probably the whole will probably fill the whole thing. Now the thing about chaffles depending upon how you make it, some of them are super super soft, some of them will be crunchy, some of them you can leave on just a little bit longer than when the little thing the light pops you, you'll hear it click. Um Leave it on a little bit longer and, and it will toast up a little bit more. Another uh, tip for making chaffles, if you're trying to get them crunchy, is, and now I wouldn't do this with the pumpkin spice because I don't want a cheese flavor on it, but if it's like a bread or something like that, you can put a little bit of bread on the bottom, bread, a little bit of cheese on the bottom, do your chaffle, put a little bit of cheese on the top, and then um, close it all up. The cheese that you added on the bottom and the top will actually toast and it gets a little bit more of a crispiness. Hello, Tammy. Thanks for jumping on. Hi, Susan. How are you? All right. You can see that we are starting to kind of poof up. Your These only take maybe about three minutes. Um, it just depends on uh, the, your, you'll put your plug your truffle in. You'll let the little light get so that it's, um, it, it, it'll, the light will be on when you plug it in. You wait until the light goes off. Then you put your stuff in here and now you wait for the light to come back on. And you'll hear it click. 
As you guys are jumping on, please say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if you're catching me live. If you see that little red box there, make sure you put live down there in the comments. If not, you're catching me on the replay. Put replay on the comment in the comments as well. I love to give gifts, and you just never know what I'm going to get a gift for. It might be for being on with me live. It might be for catching me on the replay and coming back. I appreciate you anyway. You always get on my giveaway list if you share me out. Every time you share, your name is on that list another time and another opportunity. And I don't know if you guys saw my, I'm catching some the people who win for January. So we're going to pick our January winner here very soon. I don't, I don't have everybody on the wheel yet, almost, um, is going to be um, a, um, a fasting kit to help you with fasting. Woohoo! <laughs> And shared. All right. Thank you, guys. Amy, I'm so glad that you caught me. Hi, Shirley. All right. Here we go. So this one didn't puff too much, but you'll, I'll show you what this is going to look like when you pop it off. Comes off very easy. And here you go. It looks just like a waffle. This one is going to kind of puff back down as it cools. All right. So... You can make as many of them as you want. As you see, it is about the shape of a of a roll or a a bun, so it's like perfect to put a burger on it, make do an egg sandwich on it, whatever. This one we made pumpkin spice, um, and we did it with that keto cream. So we're getting in our a whole um, a whole serving of our healthy fats and collagen. All right, I'm gonna put this one on the side. If I wanted to have this as a breakfast. I would put maybe a little bit of butter on it, and I would put um, a little bit of uh, sugar-free syrup. And my favorite syrup to do is Chalk Zero. That's the one that I like that doesn't have a lot of garbage in it. Unfortunately, some of them that you buy at the grocery store, um, the things that they're sweetened with to make them sugar-free is kind of crazy. All right, uh, the other thing is, is you can make this into a dessert. So I'm just going to use some whipped cream. You can make whipped cream super easy, guys, and it's cleaner than this. Remember, it's just he cold, 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 heavy whipping cream. Use your beater, your mixer, and it might take five minutes or so, but hang in there, and you can make really delicious um, whipped cream. But here you go. Now I've got now I've got a chaffle dessert. All right, guys, thanks for jumping on. I really appreciate you. Have a wonderful Thursday. Um, put spices or... Um, um, salad dressings or whatever you want down there in the comments if you want me to get you connected. Um, thanks for sharing, guys. I really appreciate you. Sharing is caring and it makes you beautiful, so do it often. Um, if you want to keep following me, press that button right now while I'm live. Up there will uh, be a box that will open up. It'll give you the opportunity to follow me. And then you can press it again. It'll give you the opportunity to be notified whenever I come on live. If you are not in my VIP group, please put that down, VIP down there in the comments, because that is where I let you guys know that I'm coming on live or what I'm doing. I will drop this recipe in there. So make sure that you are on my VIP list because that's kind of my news flash. It's kind of all the information, anything that's happening that's going on, things that I find, I drop in that, um, in that group. So if you're not already one of my VIPs, make sure you put VIP in the comments. All right, guys, have a wonderful evening, and I will talk to you tomorrow.